winter we actually get plenty of sleep. Um, it's not so not too much of a problem when we start at half past six in the morning. Summer is a bit different because we get up at about half past four, and we generally are in bed after ten o'clock. So winter, uh, summer is a bit of a longer day. But I think for all of us, the natural excitement of coming out into the bush is something that motivates us and keeps us going. I don't find myself ever in a bad mood or miserable first thing in the morning, which I know that I'm very lucky to be in that position to face that sort of day and know that there's something exciting waiting for me on the other end. And It doesn't matter what kind of day it is. It doesn't matter if it's, as you said, funnily enough and predicted yesterday, the calm before the storm which, by the way, I did remember and had a good chuckle about last night just before I went to bed. So it's, I think it's where we are. I think it's the environment that we live in and the lifestyle that we need, that early mornings are, and you have to be a, a, a sort of a morning bird to do this kind of work, and most of us are. I don't think any of us really have a massive problem in waking up every now and again. When James gets back, I will most definitely have a lion at some point, as will Brent, since we've been doing a couple of drives straight. And it is, a, it is you don't really have a weekend or anything like that, not that that's a problem. But most definitely when James get back, gets back and there are more presenters on the ground, then we'll have a little bit of breathing space.